Welcome to Celebrate Home. We are thrilled to have you here tonight to celebrate home and our dear friend, Heather Raspberry. In 2023, APP has done more than ever before to address the regional housing need. We're excited to share more about that work and what's to come tonight. Housing is foundational. Affordable housing benefits us all, and it's truly important for the health of this region. In 2017, we made a decision to become a regional organization because we knew we couldn't solve the region's affordable housing deficit by just focusing on one jurisdiction. So we are now in five jurisdictions in the DMV. We broke ground on our first project in the District of Columbia. We are also cutting the ribbon on our first development in Fairfax County, 150 units on public land serving seniors so that they can age in place here in Fairfax. We also were given the opportunity to partner with EYA at the Crystal Houses in Crystal City, which is a stone's throw away from where Amazon's HQ2 is. And we're gonna be building 655 units of affordable housing over various phases. And lastly, we are looking to break ground at the end of the year on two 21-story towers in Tyson's Corner to serve over 500 households. And that is a business district with over 100,000 workers without any affordable housing. We are in Tyson's Corner tonight at Celebrate Home. So to be here celebrating this moment when we are on the cusp of that is very exciting. 2023 has been an incredible year for resident services. We've launched several programs this year, the Latino College Access Club, the STEP program at Snowden, and the Rock and Read program. And we have much more planned for 2024. A lot of girls going into middle school and high school are still trying to find themselves. I think this gives them the opportunity to um, have a voice. You could shine bright as a diamond and don't have to be afraid. The Rock and Read program is another initiative that gets families excited about reading and gets children in the mindset that they too can have a library at as early as five. The APA has really been able to unlock resources for our senior population in particular. Their opportunities are unbelievable and it actually prompts you to do things that you've always wanted to try but you've never done before. This year, as part of our strategic plan adoption, we committed to a goal, a bold goal, of increasing our portfolio threefold from 2,300 units to 7,500 units by 2028. We are also planning to ensure that our resident services is growing with the real estate and bricks and mortar by having resident services serve all of the residents and properties included in that 7,500 unit goal. We have done so much, but there's a lot left to do and we are up for it, especially with the partners we have really working alongside of us. I'm so excited that in 2023, APA is able to honor our dear friend, someone I admire, Heather Raspberry, Executive Director at HAND. So HAND is a membership collective that's comprised of 500 plus organizations and institutions. We serve our members through training and capacity building and also agitate for public policy that's really going to bring forth equitable housing. The partnership between APA and HAND is a transformative piece of why APA went from just serving one jurisdiction, one very important jurisdiction, to becoming a regional player. It was HAND that started the conversation naming the magnitude of the housing supply deficit and the need for the region. The HAND HIT tool is a way of taking the research that was done by the Urban Institute as well as the Council of Governments and other groups to quantify the regional need. And instead of just having the research be a report, actualizing it, making it a tool for quantifying our progress. Heather is the start of it. For all the work that HAND has done to bring us together to raise our eyes to the big goal, 
to not put forward one small deal at a time and pat ourselves on the back at a ribbon cutting, but to think about who we're not serving and how much more we need to do and to hold ourselves accountable. It's Heather's voice that is making sure that on a regular basis, we are coming back together and checking our progress around those important goals. She was also at the forefront of talking about racial equity in housing. How do we translate that into a work plan so that it is transformative work that is embedded in everything we do at APA? It's an absolute honor to be given this award by APA, especially in the year that APA is really putting to work all that HAN as a membership organization has been talking about for the last five years to see them lifting up our work of the Housing Indicator Tool and putting strategy and intention behind naming what the challenges are in their communities and how they're going to go about and tackling those issues, that feels amazing. So the need for affordable housing in the Capital Region is vast. Part of why we chose to design the Housing Indicator Tool is because we knew that we needed to be strategic and thoughtful about how many units of new housing we needed, as well as how to also balance the needs for preservation. Right now, we are calling for 374,000 net new housing units in order to serve the need, as well as partnering with communities and providing resident services so that we're really putting them into a position to thrive. Affordable housing is the issue of our time. It's the stabilizing factor. It's what allows seniors to not have to make the choices between medication or whether they're going to pay the rent. It's what allows a single mother to know there's a comfortable, safe place for her children to go home at night. That's a human right that we all deserve. And I'm grateful that APA and other members of HAN are out here making that happen. There's plenty of work to do, and I encourage those of you in the audience this evening to lean in and support this organization so that they can continue to do the great work they're doing.